I know you know how amazing dogs are, but it's amazing that dogs like these two could possibly tell us if we're gonna have a seizure. We have been working with dogs using smell for seizures and diabetes as well as other conditions for, for quite some time now. I'm a consultant for service dog organizations in Europe and in the course of one of my workshops over there, I met a young woman who was doing her dissertation, her PhD dissertation on seizures and she was very interested in the process and the training and how we, how we teach the dog to use scent to alert to seizures. With her team, they collected the samples in a medical facility. So these were patients who were having seizures, who were being um, you know, recorded on EEGs for their seizure activity, and they collected the samples right during or after a seizure. She sent samples over to medical mutts to test the dogs. Jennifer will send the footage back of the dogs grabbing the scent for further scientific review. Medical mutts train each of their dogs to have a good nose for a particular smell we release when a seizure is oncoming. We teach the dogs that this specific smell has a, has a value, has a meaning. Things happen when they smell this. And so we pair that smell with something that they really like, with a really, really good treat and we teach them to find that smell amongst other smells. So we present them a number of cans, um, and that's what we did in the study. They, they had one can that had the scent of a person during a seizure, and the other cans had the scents of the same person at different, different times of, of the day when they were not having a seizure. Many service dogs organizations, it, it has been difficult to train service dogs for seizure, especially seizure, seizure alert. So most service dog organizations will train dogs for re seizure response, meaning a person has a seizure and that's the cue for the dog to do something, get help, uh, lay down next to the person, help the person avoid injury. But what we're doing with smell is teach the dog that, hey, whenever you smell this, it means the person's gonna have a seizure and we need you to, to do X, Y, Z behavior to let them know. These behaviors include nudging or poking someone with their noses if they pick something up. These are people with different types of seizures, which is also very different because at this point, there was a lot of thought about, you know, maybe certain types of seizures had a smell, but not others. Well, we had uh, uh, different types of seizures in our seizure samples in our cans and the dogs made abs absolutely no difference between a person who might have had an absent seizure or a person who had a grand mal seizure. The abilities of the dog's nose and keen mind are their most useful tool when helping someone who really needs assistance. Without their help, this discovery would not have been found. You know, we didn't come up with that. The dogs showed us they could do it. And for years, the dogs have been alerting people to their seizures. It just wasn't consistent, and it was really hard to train. So some organizations, what they did is place dogs with volunteers who had seizures and looked at which dogs picked them up, and then they were able to develop the seizures from there. But we didn't really have a method by which we could teach any dog you know, how to alert to a seizure. So that, that's why this is groundbreaking. But at the court, we, didn't, we really didn't come up with anything. It's the dogs that were there to show us that they could do it. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Adam Dunn.